To choose between a Yorkie versus Chihuahua, compare their size. The slightly larger Chihuahua is fractionally more robust and safer from accidental injury. Their grooming needs. The long-haired Yorkie demands more frequent brushing than a short-coated Chihuahua. Lifespan. On average Chihuahuas outlive Yorkies by up to three years. Welcome to the Yorkie vs. Chihuahua debate. There's no question both of these toy breeds pack big-time attitude into a tiny package. So, how does the feisty, affectionate Yorkshire Terrier stack up against the sassy, charming Chihuahua? In this video, we'll take a look at temperament, history, health, appearance, training, and exercise requirements. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. History. Origins of the Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkshire Terrier was developed in the northern English counties of Yorkshire and Lancashire in the mid-1800s. They're believed to have been created by weavers from Scotland who combined several different breeds. Although, the breeds they actually used is a topic of debate, in itself. The Clydesdale Terrier, Waterside Terrier, Paisley Terrier, and Dandy Dinmont Terrier are some of the dogs thought to be part of their genetic mix. They were initially bred to catch rodents in mines and to burrow underground after badgers and foxes. However, once the breed was recognized by the United Kennel Club UKC, in 1886, this tiny dog with its long, flowing locks caught the attention of Victorian English ladies. And the Yorkie ditched their working-class origins for the life of a fashionable lapdog. Origins of the Chihuahua The origins of the Chihuahuas extend back much further. In fact, as one study unearthed, as far back as pre-Columbian times, they are direct descendants of the larger and heavier Tekichi dog. However, the Aztecs are credited with refining them into the smaller dog we know today. By the early to mid-1800s, these dogs were found in the city in the city of Chihuahua in Mexico. Americans visiting the country immediately became infatuated with these diminutive dogs and brought them to the U.S. Appearance. Although both of these dogs are tiny, the Chihuahua is the world's smallest breed, weighing under 6 pounds and standing from 5 to 8 inches. On the other hand, the slightly larger Yorkie weighs 7 pounds and stands from 7 to 8 inches tall. Undoubtedly, the Yorkie's most defining characteristic is a silky, floor-length, coat of steel blue and golden tan. Moreover, these pups are sturdy and well-proportioned, their head is held high, displaying their innate confidence. The round apple-shaped skull of the Chihuahua is its trademark. Temperament. When it comes to temperament, these two dogs have a lot in common. They're both affectionate, love to be around people, and don't like to be left alone. Yorkies and Chihuahuas are feisty little dogs who can be quite domineering and protective of their owners. This can inspire some tough names. This makes them good watchdogs but can lead to unwanted behavior. Both of these dogs regularly rank highly among other breeds for human-directed aggression in scientific studies. The Chihuahua, in particular, can be hostile to both people and dogs. Another less than admirable quality these two breeds share is a tendency to bark a lot. Some Yorkies are happy to be doted upon while others have more of the typical terrier temperament with an instinct to chase. The Chihuahua's personality can be quite quirky. They're often described as either bold or timid, sassy or mellow, comical or dignified, but never boring. Training. 
Although both of these breeds are intelligent and eager to please, like many small dogs, they're considered difficult to housebreak. One reason is that tiny pups have a faster metabolism than larger breeds and need to go more often. Start establishing a daily routine right away for the best results. Patience and consistency are key. Dogs should be socialized and trained as early as possible as it's the best way to curb aggressive behavior. Introducing them to a wide variety of people, pets, and environments will make them less fearful. Unfortunately, many people neglect training when it comes to toy breeds. Health. Yorkie leg, calf, Perths is an inherited condition that can affect the Yorkie. It involves deterioration of the head on the femur bone in the dog's hind leg and can lead to erosion of the hip joint and osteoarthritis. Congenital portosystemic shunt, also known as a liver shunt, occurs in the Yorkshire Terrier more than any other breed. In fact, one study found that the Yorkie was 35.9 times more likely to suffer from abnormal veins that cause the blood flow to bypass the liver than all other breeds combined. Chihuahua. Periodontal disease is a huge problem for the Chihuahua. Their little mouths just don't have enough room to accommodate their teeth. Regular teeth brushing, watching sugar consumption, and dental checkups are imperative. Necrotizing meningoencephalitis is an inflammation disorder of the brain that is found in this breed. Cardiac testing is recommended for the Chihuahua, as they're prone to heart disease. Care. Tracheal collapse is a common cause of airway obstruction in dogs that can be genetic or acquired. It primarily affects toy breeds, and Yorkies, in particular, are at high risk. When taking your dog for a walk, the traditional collar and lead can put direct pressure on the dog's neck, especially if they have a habit of pulling on the lead. By using a harness you can reduce the risk of injuring a dog's delicate windpipe. Living needs all dogs should get high-quality dog food that's appropriate for their age and size. Which breed makes a better pet? Is the Yorkie or the Chihuahua right for you? Well, the choice between two such similar dogs may simply be personal preference. The Yorkie will require more grooming but also has fewer health problems. Whichever breed you decide on, avoid choosing the smallest puppy in the litter. A bigger dog will have a better chance of living a long and healthy life. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.